Hey everybody, just wanted to do a quick little video on a brew hack today, how to add a hole to a kettle or fermenter. In most cases, you'd be either adding something like a valve or a port for a, a thermometer. Uh, so many, so many benefits to this, especially the valve. Um, you know, it allows you to keep your, your tube in the bottom of the kettle. Uh, you don't have to pick up the pot and dump it over. Uh, quick and easy, and I'm doing a couple today, so I thought I'd just show you how it's done. First of all, the easiest way to, to put a hole in any vessel is going to be with a step bit. Uh, this works great for stainless steel, for aluminum, uh, even for plastic. The only problem with this is you need a drill with uh, a low torque setting um, and then you also uh, have a much greater chance of, of screwing it up. Um, it's really easy for the, the drill to kind of go a little wild and um, uh, either drill too far or uh, maybe tweak the metal a little bit. Uh, and then you've got to figure out how to either fix that or clean it up. Uh, the other options, um, there's punch bits, which are really nice. Um, the only problem is they're, uh, you know, really one size. So if you want an inch, you have to buy the inch. And if you need an inch and a quarter, well, you have to buy an inch and a quarter. Uh, and they're like 50 bucks each size. So, um, but you get a nice, super clean hole, uh, really easy to do, pretty hard to screw up. So it's, it's definitely worth it if, uh, uh, you're really just going to be doing you know, the same size hole uh, across several different things. Um, and uh, of course that way you don't need the, uh, the drill either. You just basically kind of wrench it down until it pops through. Uh, <clears throat> for the drill, also a, a nice metal file helps. Um, a hammer, uh, it's a little nail or something just to put a uh, kind of little dent inside the uh, whatever your uh, metal surface you're drilling. Um, so it doesn't move around or, or slip around. Um, and then you'll also want, with this method, uh, just a little machine oil. Um, so I'm using a uh, 3-in-1 just to lubricate the uh, surface a little bit, keep it from getting too hot, um, and uh, burning up my drill bit. So before just going at this thing, what you want to do is try and put a little hole um, or a little dent inside the, the kettle we're going to be drilling. Um, just makes the, the bit um, a little more sturdy and keep from uh, slip around. So I just used a nail and a hammer uh, and put this little notch right here just for um, my bit to have something to grip to. Uh, next up is um, take a little lubrication oil or your lub lubricating oil. Uh, if you don't have um, a machine oil, uh, you can use WD-40. It's not super effective, but uh, it's better than, than having absolutely nothing. Um, if you don't do a pilot hole, it does take quite a bit of, of effort to get that first punch through. Um, at first I thought maybe I had the, you know, the wrong kind of um, uh, step bit uh, or I couldn't drill through the stainless that I had for some reason. And so I did a bunch of research and just found I really had to kind of put my back into it for that first punch um, and then it just kind of chews through it pretty easily. So uh, I'm not going to be able to show you the drilling process just because I've only got two hands today. Um, but uh, I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done. <laughs> Alright, there it is. So uh, there are going to be quite a bit of little metal shavings. Um, I do highly recommend wearing some uh, safety glasses while doing this. I did uh, have to add um, some lubrication several times throughout the process. Um, it only really took me like, uh, I don't know, maybe three or four minutes to actually uh, drill this thing out. And what I do is when I start getting somewhere close to where I think it, it needs to be, um, I just stop, uh, grab my... Um, uh, the piece that I'm sticking in there and just you know stick it in and make sure that it's it you know I, I'm, I'm to the point where it needs to be um, or if I'm really close you know I know just I need to go a little further um, but it's always good just to uh, uh, every you know 10 or 15 seconds uh, just stop what you're doing and uh, just double check that you're actually uh, uh, haven't actually passed the size that you're looking for because it's really really easy to do with these step bits especially once they get going okay and finally once you do actually drill your hole um, just give it a clean um, the edges are still going to be pretty sharp in some of the places um, but having a, a some metal file uh, just to just to edge those down because those will eat through the um, plastic seals or the rubber seals um, that you use with your weldless bulkhead fitting and so you just want this to be as smooth as possible on the inside and out. So just a little file on these guys um, solves a problem. All right, there we are. So there's my big hole for my uh, heat on it. And there's my little hole for my uh, side glass. 
So the last thing that I did after I drilled these holes, um, just took some paper towels and wiped away all of the um, uh, metal flakes. Uh, and then I just took some dish soap uh, just to get the machine oil off of here. Uh, nice clean up, wipe the whole thing down, spray it out. Uh, make sure you got all those little metal flakes out, uh, out of the kettle. Um, you know, make sure this is nice and smooth, not sh too sharp um, or anything to catch. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna throw my um, two accessories on here and uh, I'll be all set. Cheers guys.